Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is a video discussion on playing Oblivion after playing Skyrim. So just so you know, I did play Oblivion back in the day when it came out in 2006 or 2007. And I played that for a while until Skyrim came out. And I've been playing Skyrim in one form or another since that time. And so I decided to go back to Oblivion because I was uh, being inspired by several podcasts that I was listening to um, from some, uh, and from some friends of mine who were playing Oblivion. And so I decided to go back to it again to see how it fares. And what a pain in the ass was it to install. I, I inserted the disc in, um, I, I inserted the disc in, and it's the, uh, the menu that pops up to install it did not appear, and so I had to eject it and push it back in, eject it, push it back in, rinse and repeat, until finally I come up with the inst installation screen so I can install it. And then I install Oblivion. And uh, because my computer... Because I remember back in the day, Oblivion is a resource hog. And it still is to some, offend, uh, some extent. So when I play it, the graphics, since I've got a much better machine since the last time I played Oblivion, it performs quite well, even when you've got grass turned on. But to make it really look nice, you got to install a couple of mods. So I'm not, I haven't installed that many mods. I don't go for like mesh improvements, anything with the 3D models. And I rarely do choose the uh, texture models. Uh, because it, I mean, the main reason is because it eats up the, the gigabytes. It eats up the room on my hard drive. And so the only ones I've installed was the map, this elven colourful map, which looks really awesome. Even the little icons, I think Better Faces, not the most famous one, but a Better Faces mod. And you can see it changes the faces, what made, what's essentially <laughs> potato face uh, women in the game made it much look a little nicer, the elves look nicer, the females and also the men, the orcs and also the beast races like the Argonians and the Gishits as you can see look a lot more nicer with this on. Um, I also I installed a little uh, mod to make give a bit more yellowy tint and uh, maybe a more blood mod and that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, how I achieved this look was to put the reflections of the water to reflect the, the land, the trees, and the uh, the grass. And um, that's pretty much it. I don't have EMBs because for the life of me, for the same reason, I don't use EMBs for Skyrim. is because I don't know how to install them. And the gameplay is fun. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy myself. I really did, but there are a few. I kept on wishing that uh, to go back to Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim has got those convenience features, like in Skyrim, uh, there's there's always an exit to a dungeon. Um, in Oblivion, you have to go back, which is a little bit annoying. There are things that Oblivion does better, such as alchemy. You've got like an alchemy kit, so you can do it anywhere in the world at any time, even during a a boss battle. And um, that was really cool. And also you got spell crafting, which you don't have in uh, Skyrim, which I do miss it. So, Oblivion... I say that I'm a little disappointed in it, going back from Skyrim to Oblivion. Um, I mean, it's because that Skyrim is a vast improvement on almost all respects on Oblivion, but I, I still manage to have um, enjoyment in Oblivion. I, I can still um, enjoy myself in Oblivion, um, other than a few annoyances. 
and um, a little setbacks um, oblivion especially with some mods installs is still a pretty good game having said that I still prefer Skyrim sorry that's just me I probably won't change um, thank you very much for watching this video and have a good night bye